Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In my latest video, I'm going to show and run this little steam car that I recently completed. It uh, is designed for, I think it's called uh, HO gauge. It was the uh, model train size that was most popular when I was a kid back in the 1950s. Um, and this car right here uses uh, my little steam engine that I've offered free plans for. And um, it's very simple to make. I've, as I say, I offer free plans for this and uh, building instructions. And I will post my email address if you would like a copy of the plan. Um, just send me an email and I'll send it off to you. The uh, plan, the building instructions, this is a printout of them. They're just a few pages. And the, the drawing is two times the actual size and it's fully dimensioned and has the bill of uh, the list of materials on it. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's made mostly of brass, brass, brass rod, free cutting brass rod. Uh, the cylinder and the valve tube are hobby tubing, KNS hobby tubing. The crankshaft is made out of drill rod. It's a composite part that's silver soldered together. It's very strong. I'll run the engine for just a few seconds on air pressure. If you haven't seen it running before, it just needs a few pounds of pressure to run. I don't know if my compressor has any air left in it or not. A little bit. So it's running on probably just a few pounds of air pressure. Uh, on the steamboats that it was designed for, I generally run it at about 5 psi, and the engine at that pressure turns about 3,000 RPMs, so it, it runs very fast. Sounds like a little bee when it's when it's running fast. Uh, another thing about the engine, it, it can be completely disassembled for maintenance or repairs. Um, Phillips machine screws on the bottom, hex head on the top. Uh, the engine frame post uh, can get removed and uh, the big end on the connecting rod is is just split on the bottom and squeezed together over the crank pin and as far as the the eccentric Uh, the, the valve, the valve rod just snaps over the eccentric. It it has just enough spring to it that uh, it can snap on, and it and it it'll stay on the engine. So back to this little steam car. As I mentioned, the engine turns very fast. 
So I've set it up to um, run on a kind of a flick friction drive right here. The engine shaft has a little piece of rubber tubing on it and that engages with this this larger wheel below which has a small o-ring on it and when that's pushed forward that raises this shaft up just enough so that uh, so that it engages the engine shaft and then underneath there's just a further reduction uh, to the front driver wheels and I use a one, one thirty-second inch diameter o-ring belt to drive the wheels and I will fuel this up and, uh, and show you how it runs on the track Oh, the boiler, um, the boiler uses sterno in this little pan right here. That just goes in there like that. Uh, these little figurines on, on the engine are, they've got magnets in there. So they just, they just sit on the, the metal frame like that. Okay, I will... Um, move over to my pool table and uh, show you how the engine runs. Okay, I'm set up. I filled the boiler with distilled water. It uses about a half a cubic inch and filled the, st the sternal pan. And I'll, I'll light it now. It it doesn't take too long to get the pressure up. You'll see bubbles starting to appear on the uh, the top of the valve. Uh, that means it's just about ready to go. I think I mentioned the boiler uses about a half a cubic inch of water and it'll run the engine for about five minutes.
Okay, it just ran out of water.